hello again so yes another video so soon because believe it or not I have experienced stuff other than Doctor Who hard to believe I've been in the UK for about two weeks now I've been in Wales for one and I just have to say it's been incredible people tend to think you know America and the UK are so similar and it's not that they aren't it's just when you're living in it you realize just how different things really are Yesterday, I went to church with a local couple that I kind of have family connections to. It was really interesting. It was very different than what I'm used to. After church, I was meeting a bunch of people. They go to shake your hand, they kiss you on the cheek. I'm not used to this. I haven't been hanging out with the locals. I mean, I've been out among them, but I haven't been meeting them. So I'm not used to this at all. And I actually completely forgot that that's how they greet people here. The first lady comes up to do it to me. And she's like, oh, lovely, how are you? It just leans forward. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> but I just kind of like, oh, okay. So I just kind of did it too. And then she kissed me on the cheek. I'm like, oh, crap. I'm supposed to be kissing her back. So I did like the awkward like, <laughs> it was so bad. Didn't realize what was happening until it had happened. It was hilarious. And then when I went downstairs and started meeting some more people, they all did that to me. They all kissed me on the cheek. I don't have a problem with people doing it to me. I just feel awkward doing it back. Another thing I've had to adjust here to here is the lingo. Because yes, we are still speaking English, but it's like its own form of English. They use different words. So I thought I'd give you a little British vocab lesson of words I've had to learn. Pants is underwear, which you probably derived from the last Doctor Who trailer. If you want to talk about pants in the American sense, you have to say trousers. Sometimes I'll say something about like, oh no, I got something on my pants, and people think I mean my underwear, and that sounds really bad. A sweater is a jumper. People will say, oh, do you have a nice jumper? Or they'll ask me like, oh, come winter, you just need a good jumper. And I'm picturing like a dress. I'm always like, oh. What we would describe as something being sketchy or kind of off is dodgy. A buggy in a grocery store is a trolley. Spaghetti, as we know it, is bolognese. Stuff will say a bolognese sauce, so instead of marinara. It took me a while to figure that out as well, because I'm like, what the heck is bolognese? It sounds like bologna. I don't want it. A new one that I heard when I was on the train, there were two British ladies talking to each other, and a raincoat, or like a um, parka, is called a mac. A cue is a line. That you learn right off, and it's so funny to me because the British are serious about their cues. You come outside the train station to wait for a taxi, and it's not like New York where you hail a taxi. No, you stand in a queue. As the taxis come, whoever's next in line gets the taxi. I quite like it, because if I had to hail myself a cab, I would never get one, and I would never get home. Things have been going well. I'm still definitely learning every day. I'm getting used to it. I still don't understand why pro my professor drinks a bottle of um, banana flavored milk every day. That's just weird. But it's really interesting. New experiences every day. It's going to be a great semester based on these two weeks. And hopefully I'll get to tell you all more and more about it as we go along. Alright. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Danny, no more late videos. Bye.